My mother's death still hangs in the air around me. And now, during the same month, my six-year marriage is ending. But even while Rome is burning, there's somehow time for shopping at Ikea. See, when I moved out of the house earlier this week, toting my many personal belongings in large bins and boxes and 50-gallon garbage bags, my first inclination was, of course, to purchase the things I still needed for my new place. You know, just the basics. A shower curtain, towels, a bed, and oh, I need a couch and a matching leather chair and a love seat and a lamp and a desk and a desk chair and another lamp for over there. And oh yeah, don't forget about the sideboard that matches the desk and a dresser for the bedroom. And oh, I need a coffee table and a couple end tables and a TV stand for the TV I still need to buy. And now that I think about it, I'm gonna want my apartment to be my style. You know, my own motif. So I need certain decoratives to spruce up the decor. But wait, what exactly is my style? And do these stainless steel picture frames embody that particular style? Does this replica Matisse sketch accurately capture my edgy but professional vibe? Exactly how edgy am I? What espresso maker defines me as a man? Does the fact that I'm asking these questions preclude me from being a, quote, man's man? How many plates and cups and bowls should a man own? I guess I need a dining room table too, right? And a rug for the entryway and bath mats. And what about that one thing, that thing that's sort of like a rug, but longer? Yeah, a runner. I'm gonna need one of those. And I'm also gonna need, well, hell, what else do I need?